Hello and welcome back to the Salesforce Harris channel and today I'm going to talk about your first Salesforce certificate. Yes, you as an individual want to start your career into Salesforce ecosystem or you have already started your career into Salesforce but you're confused that for which certificate I should go for as my first Salesforce certificate. So what, what is the answer? Which certificate you should go for? So don't worry. I'm here to tell you that which certification would be most appropriate or suitable for you according to your profile and according to your purpose or your future vision into this Salesforce ecosystem. So what are you waiting for? Let's begin. So there are three Salesforce certificates with which you can start your Salesforce certificate journey. Number one, ADM201, which stands for Salesforce Certified Administrator. This certificate is basically given uh, by the people who aspire to be a certified administrator of Salesforce or they're already working as an administrator and now they want to uh, showcase their skills with the help of this certificate. So if you want to go with, the sale, uh, with this one, go with this one. Else, think about the second one which is Platform App Builder. This certification stands for Salesforce.com Certified Platform App Builder. And it basically tests or uh, like assess your skills and capability to develop applications on top of Salesforce or to on top of Force.com uh, platform with the help of point and click tools available over it. So in this Platform App Builder exam, no coding questions will be there. Like you'll not be judged or you'll not be assessed on your coding capabilities like Apex, Visual Force or Lightning. It will not be covered into this certification. The third and the most important certificate which you can think of as a first Salesforce certificate in your Salesforce certificate journey. Platform Developer 1 which we also call as PD1. Yes, so this is the most important certificate and this assess your knowledge and capability of developing applications on top of Force.com platform with the help of point and click tools and also the coding, the Apex, Visual Force, Lightning. All of these things uh, are included as, as a syllabus of this particular certificate. So if you plan to be a developer, then you can think of this third, uh, like third certificate uh, as your first certificate in the Salesforce certificate journey. Now it's the time to analyze that which amongst the three certificates will be best for you. And I'm going to tell you three parameters based on which you'll be easily able to identify that which certification would be best for you or would be uh, better for you. So the first parameter is current position. What I mean by current position is that whether you're already working into Salesforce ecosystem or industry or you want to get into the Salesforce industry because uh, like this will determine, this will define that which certification will be best for you and for your uh, goal, which is our second parameter. Uh, not exactly goal, but purpose. So what's your purpose of taking the certificate? Obviously, you need to ask yourself this question that what is the purpose of taking this certification? Do I, am I doing this certification to get a job? If that's the thing, then you need to think differently. If, uh, like if you're already working into the Salesforce industry and you're going for a certificate, then the purpose might be you want to showcase your skills or your capabilities to the seniors in your company. So that's another purpose. So there are different, different purposes. So ask yourself this question. What is the purpose of taking this certificate? I categorize the purpose into three different categories. Number one, if you're a fresher and looking for a job into Salesforce ecosystem, then in that case, you need to showcase your skills. And there's no better way to showcase your skills uh, except having a Salesforce certificate. Second one, you are already working into a company and now you want to move ahead. You want to get onto a better position. You want, to, you want a hike. Then in that case, you can go for the certification. That's another purpose. Third one is achievement, fulfillment. Like we, we as humans are like are motivated by achievements. So you want that motivation. You want to work hard to achieve something. And these Salesforce certifications really gives you a sense of achievement and a sense of fulfillment that you're good at the job, what you do. The third parameter that will help you analyze which certification is better for you is track. In Salesforce, there are different, different tracks for different, different profiles. First, analyze that which, for which track you want to go for. Generally, the tracks are divided into two parts. Uh, generally, I'm talking about uh, like there are many other as well, but generally they are divided into two parts. One is a consultant. The other one is, a, is an architect. So if you want to move ahead into the architect track, then in that case, you should think differently. If you want to move ahead in the consultant track, then think differently. And let me tell you what consultant uh, and like where 
these two people are different or what uh, what is the job of these two people consultant and architect so architect is a more technical person a uh, sort of a developer who works on like behind the scenes and like make great things so that everyone can be happy whereas consultant is a person who consults and understands the needs and requirements of a business and presents solutions for those problems that the businesses are facing so first identify which which track you want to go for uh, go for if you are someone who likes to code who likes to code a lot then architect uh, track would be good for you i i'm and like if you are someone who like to interact with people more and uh, just call, like just be in sync with them and you like to help people more then in that case you should think of consultant track anyway i'm going to create a, a, another video in which i I'll, i'm going to tell you uh, the questions that you need to ask uh, in order to identify whether you are a consultant for, like whether you should go for the consultant track or whether you should go for the architect track but yes you do need to uh, have a little bit knowledge that uh, or little bit vision that in which track you want to move ahead into salesforce so if you want to move into the consultant track then in that case the certification you will choose as your first salesforce certificate will be different and if you want to move ahead into the architect track then the certificates you will choose will be a little different now there are three certifications that you are available with and three parameters of which you have written down the answers now let's talk about how these three and three things aligns so adm 201 salesforce certified administrator if you want to work as an administrator or if you're already working as an administrator uh, and you want to showcase your skills go for adm 201 definitely you should go for adm 201 and uh, it analyzes or it assess your knowledge onto the like platform capabilities and the things that are available and your ability to solve the problems that the business users or business executives are facing while using that salesforce platform so that's okay and uh, one more thing that you need to identify uh, like you need to be clear about is if you want to move into the consultant track then adm 201 is pre is a prerequisite if you want to get more certification or uh, like more of more of consultant certificates then in that case adm 201 is compulsory whereas if you want to move into the architect track ADM 20 certification, 201 certification or Salesforce certified administrator certification is not mandatory. Let me repeat once again, not mandatory. So if you want to be an architect, if you like to code, then in that case, you really do not need to give the ADM 201 certification. But if you want to do consultant certifications later on in your uh, path or, or on your path, then in that case, you should consider ADM 201. Now the second certification, App Builder. So if uh, you like you want to move into the architect track, it is a prerequisite. You do do need to have this platform app builder certificate if you want to move ahead into the architect track. No, uh, and I'm, I'm going to create another video to explain you uh, what this architect track is. But yeah, this is def very, very much required if you want to move ahead into the architect track of uh, or architect track into the Salesforce certification journey. And this basically assess your knowledge of the point-click tools that are available onto the Salesforce with respect to the custom objects, not with respect to the standard objects on the standard capabilities that the Salesforce platform already provides. If you're someone who's looking for a job and if, especially like asterisk, if you are in India, then I don't think you should consider both of these certifications as your first certification. If that's what your primary goal is, if uh, be, like if you want to, if you just want to get a job into the Salesforce ecosystem and you want to start your career into Salesforce ecosystem, I, I don't think that you should go with these two certificates uh, as your first certificate. I think you should go with the third certificate as your first certificate that is Salesforce Platform Developer 1. Let me tell you why. First, certifications are expensive. I mean, when you're a fresher, when you're not doing a job, when you have to pay for your own certification or for your own certificate, you need to like invest some money. And first you'll invest some money in ADM, then App Builder and then uh, this PD1. Uh, it, it's it's gonna cost you a lot and like let me tell you a, a simple truth if you're in India and if you want to get a job PD1 certification is still considered but the other two certifications are not that much considered that that's a hard truth that a hard it is a harsh truth I can't deny this one uh, because in India more of the development work is there as compared to the administrative work and the app uh, or the pony click uh, tool work or the declarative approach work so you need to think of PD1 as a certificate. If you're someone who is already working into the Salesforce industry and want to do a certification, I would still suggest, I would still recommend that go for sales, uh, PD1. 
it's it's it, it has more weightage over the other two certifications and it's not that much difficult to do it uh, but you still need to have the coding knowledge or the yeah you still need to have uh, you still need to know how to code and that's all what you need to understand and what you need to think while giving or while planning for your first salesforce certification if now you have got that with salesforce certification i want to go with then just start preparing for it and i'm very much sure that you're going to nail it in the first time or on the first attempt don't worry and if you face any of the problem then shreya is there for you just put down a comment over here in this video i'm i'll make sure that i reply to each one of the comments down there and if you haven't subscribed to the salesforce help channel yet then just please hit the subscribe button over here because it's the best channel on complete youtube about salesforce which is salesforce help see you next week and then bye bye take care